Hello everybody. I am here today to show you. I know I look crazy as all hell right now. Um, I'm here to show you my daily routine with my hair and my makeup. And hopefully you guys can learn something on how to take care of your hair as the big shop. My hair is currently, um, I think it's a 3C4A con um, combination. Um, I have straight hairs here because I uh, had weave in my hair for about two months. So I had Brazilian hair in my hair and just straightening it out and it kind of trained it to be straight. There's not much damage, it's just the curl won't curl back up so I have to let it grow out more and then I'm going to chop the rest of that off. So I'm probably going to let it grow out to like at least here a couple more inches until I like cut it back down. <clears throat> um, my mom's not going to be happy about that. But I am here to show you how I start my day. I It is currently morning time. My room is in the basement so you cannot tell that it is morning time. Um, I have my tea because my allergies have got my throat messed up today. Alright, so let's get this started. I'm going to start with my hair. I have my spray bottle here. I don't wash my hair every, every day or not even every week. I just kind of like spritz it with water every day but this is um a concoction i learned in school i went to beauty school tony and guy so let's get that off of there but it's um water and conditioner and i just spray my hair spray it down a little bit sometimes if my hair just doesn't want to like curl up after i spray it i just go over to the sink real quick and just wet it down um, spritz them real good here. My hair needs to be really wet. I don't know about you guys, but ever since I did the big chop, it's just been terrible. Okay, my hair is nice and wet. Okay, I use a lot of products in my hair because my hair sucks up literally everything. This big chop has killed my hair. <laughs> like it, it, it's so good in so many ways but it's also really um really annoying <laughs> so what I'm gonna do um is I'm using baby buttercream by Miss Jessie's I have a little sample here that I'm gonna use I'm trying to use the rest of my samples up um ow sorry I'm digging through my stuff um I also have Au Natural from Dark and Lovely. It is Coil Moisturizing Souffle. Um, I've noticed that it doesn't let your hair shrink up, so that's why I use that because I don't like the shrinkage. My hair gets, it looks really short once it shrinks up. And, oh, and gel. Um, I like to use the clear gel, not the ECO, because it just. You see how it has alcohol in it. It makes your hair flake up. Um, but I use African Essence. Um, it works really, real, really well with my hair texture. And then, just to lock all that moisture in, I use jojoba oil. I just put like a dime size in my hair and just rub it all over. And to fix my edges, because my hair is straight right here, I have to slick my edges back. I'm going to put olive oil on it olive oil edge control I don't know if you can see that there you go alright let's get this party started oh after I'm done my hair I'm going to put my earrings and my makeup on um, I will get to that part I'll show you all what I use on my face I don't really put that much makeup on because I declared this summer as minimum to no makeup summer so I just put the baby buttercream on my hand. I put about that much on because I have short hair. And I just work it through my hair. I try not to use too much of this stuff because it makes my hair flaky. I don't know what it is. I like the way it makes my hair curl up. Um, But I only put a little bit in because of the fact that it does make my hair super flaky. And next I'm going to put the Eau Naturale in there. I put a little, a lot of the, not a lot, but I put enough. 
how much I put in there. Please excuse me for my sore throat. My hands are all coated and I get it in between my fingers too. Because, you know, you gotta emulsify it all over. So, start off like that. And I've noticed that the more products on my straighter hair, they just, they won't even curl back up. It's just, it's done for. Like, even back here, they're straight hairs because of the fact that I had a parting like that. And I would just part it to the side. But it's okay. We'll look past it. I still rock my hair. Um, that's enough of that. I know you guys are going to talk about some, oh, that's a lot of product in your hair. When in actuality, I need all those products because of the fact that I, whew, sorry, brain fart, because of the fact that my hair gets so dry throughout the day. Like, all this moisture helps lock all the moisture in, and my hair has been growing like wildfire, so it helps. Um, this is jojoba oil I'm putting in my hair, and I only use a little bit of that. <clears throat> This is basically a method of a wash and go. It's kind of a wash and go method. Even though I'm not really washing, I just kind of wet it down. Whew, feels good to scratch. I just took a weave out a couple days ago. Um, I only had it in for a couple days because things happen. <laughs> I jumped in a pool and it got really tight. So Now for the gel, I only use a tiny, tiny bit of this because I don't want my hair to get hard. Um... Now I'm going to just work that over so curls don't go anywhere throughout the day. And now for the edge control. <coughs> this is a long video. Now for the edge control, I put that right on my edges if I can get it over oh, my hands are wet. <laughs> this is not the shirt I'm wearing today. I'm actually going to work so I have to put a black shirt on. This is the first day of work. Figured to celebrate, I would make a video. Maybe try to get started on this natural hair journey. So, I like to part my hair right here a little bit. I don't even part with a comb, just part with my finger. And I just start laying down the edges. So, let's talk about my job. I got a job at a salon, which is great because. I went to cosmetology school and I'm going to be working as a receptionist in Philly so you know girls love to get their hair done here in Philly it's like a big thing it's a big thing everywhere I shouldn't say it's just a Philly thing but Philly girls are known for them long weaves <laughs> so it's good to be able to work in a salon so I'm going to use a brush. Got my brush. I don't like using this brush too much, but today I need it. And now, um, what I like to do is <coughs> when I'm driving, like while I'm getting all ready, I put this on to lay the edges down. Actually, I'm going to use a little bit of gel on the edges too because my edges are mean and they don't like to stay still so I'm gonna, I like to put a scarf on while I get ready and while I drive to work or drive anywhere really like when I was in school I used to lay my edges down I used to drive the school with a scarf on I didn't care. Even when, um, when I started school, I actually cut my hair and relaxed it. I know I shouldn't have, but, you know, stuff happens. I think that is nail polish that just came off of my finger in my hair. Let me grab that. That is my nail polish. Huh? Does I have to do my nails again? Okay, I don't know if you guys can see my curls, but they're there. 
because lighting's not the greatest. I'm scratching my head, sorry y'all. So I'm just going to finger pick it all out. <coughs> Alright, on to the next thing. Also, I'm going to be wearing a headband today, a black headband. I like to put two on just to reinforce that mess, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So I put it right on my edge, my, my edge. I put it on my head, that way I don't get high and my hair doesn't fall on my face. I know I have the edge control on. But here we go with the makeup. Take my glasses off. Um, I'm going to put sunscreen on. I put sunscreen on all year round. My friend Jessica from school actually put me onto this. My skin has never looked better and I drink a, a gallon of water every day. I don't know why I put it on like I'm putting on foundation. And yes, I put my foundation on like this. Cool. This is... Top just fell. This is Ocean Potion Anti-Aging Sunblock SPF 15. I should probably bump up the SPF, but, you know, it happens. Now, when I put makeup on, lately my skin's been looking really good, really glowy. Only places I really put foundation or concealer is around my eyes, because I don't really get enough sleep at night. So, what I'm going to do is first pull out this bad boy. It already has makeup on it, please excuse it. Um... Has makeup on it. Sorry, my screen just totally went black because it's one sleep mode. Um, but I use eyeshadow on my eyebrows. That is not the right thing. I use eyeshadow and a pencil because you know I'm really weird about that. So basically, I'm gonna go with the shape of my eyebrow. My eyebrows, I always make them look crazy because, you know, you can always use concealer to clean it up. Whenever I do my friend's eyebrows, they're like, oh my god, I look crazy. I'm like, I'm not done yet. Mm. I know, I whine like a baby sometimes. I like a high arch because it makes me look more mean. <laughs> So, please bear with me because in the future I will get a better camera, but right now I'm just using my laptop. There we go, there's one eyebrow done. Well, not done. I'm, it's a process for me. And I just have to say how shiny my hair looks though. See, I already just messed up there. I gotta fix it. It's because it's so weird doing this on camera. I'm usually much faster. Like, I can get this done in, like, probably two minutes. Just feather that in there. Okay, now I gotta fix it with my concealer. But I'm gonna use my pencil first just to... Fill in the blanks that I miss because I always miss them. And I like really bold, dark eyebrows. I don't know if anybody else does. Now, like I said, bear with me. I know my eyebrows look crazy as all hell right now. But I'd never walk out the house looking like this. I'm getting better, like I was never as good with makeup before I started beauty school. I was actually pretty bad at it. But then, I became a girl, 
<laughs> started caring about how I looked. Like, my mom always used to yell at me, like, um, <clears throat> that I never really dressed myself. Because I didn't really care. I was young. I don't give a crap, so. Alright, here we go. With my concealer. I'm going to put it around the eyebrow. I use um, NARS concealer. Um, I'm not really dead set on like or or faithful to like any just any old concealer. Like I'll I'll use anything to be honest. If it works well with my skin, then it's fine. I know some people are just really faithful and they never cheat on their makeup line. But my motto is. You work with what you got. And I'm just going to put some under my eyes here. And then, I always get like this dark line around my um, nose for some reason. Now I'm going to use my foundation brush which has makeup on it. I know Jess will be so mad if she saw this. I clean my brushes every other day, to be honest with you, because my skin's brown and my brushes are white, so it makes them look really dirty. And I just used this yesterday. Blend it all into my, my skin. One eyebrow down. Both eyebrows down. Mm. Okay, next I'm going to put some eyeliner on. If I can find it. Yeah, it gets like this sometimes. Sometimes I just can't find stuff and I'm just like, well, I guess I'm not wearing this today. But I'm determined to find Maybe I should put my glasses on and then I'll be able to find it. That would help. Found it. All right. Um, eyeliner. I only do like a tiny, tiny line over my eye because I feel like I look bare without it. I've been doing my eyeliner since I was really young. Like, I'm not really young. Some people wear makeup when they're well nowadays. People wear they they let their kids wear makeup younger. But I was um. 15 when I started wearing makeup no 14 I was about 14 when I started wearing makeup um, I used to just keep a simple eyeliner I went through this like goth phase and it was just like really heavy and then I just it was a bad look so here we go there is something in my eye there we go That's what I done. I feel like I should put a wing. This eye is a little bigger than the other. I didn't want to do that. There we go. 
I guess it's a thick line today. Whatever. I guess since it's a thick line, I'll put a ring. Whatever. So note that I did not put any foundation on. Just take care of your skin, ladies. You won't have to wear a foundation. I don't have any foundation on. I like my skin right now. I'm very happy with it. Like, yes, there are some spots that are darker than the other, but I embrace it. I love my skin. Okay. I'm going to put the mascara on out off the camera. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to put mascara on. But this is my mascara. Just got it at Forever 21. Um, did I get it? No, I think this one was Victoria's Secret. This is definitely Victoria's Secret. But yeah, it's my mascara. You just put it on right there, like that. Um, now I'm going to put my lipstick on. I guess. Um... I guess today's look is gonna be kind of pin-up-y without the hair because I have no hair to make it pin-up. I had my weave in that I'll show you how I do my pin-up hair. There you go. Now, I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like when I take the scarf off. Lay it down somewhat. Actually, I'm kind of digging this scarf. But I'm going to wear it this way instead. Now, I'm going to put my earrings in. So we're all black to work, so I could be festive with the hair and the makeup and such. Kind of look like Monquisha with these earrings on, but I, I love these earrings. I feel like they make my face pop. Especially since I wear glasses. But I love my glasses. I can't see without them. I can barely see myself in the, the camera. But yes, this is my daily routine. I make sure my edges look good. Alright, cool. Well, that's my that's my morning. That's took a total of about twenty minutes. Not bad. Some people take much longer. Glasses dirty as a mofo. <laughs> I actually might switch lipsticks because I'm not digging this one today. Still dirty. Alright guys, um this concludes my daily routine. Um, of my wash and go method and my very 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 simple makeup um, see my brows they look better than before alright yeah I'm not digging this lipstick I'm gonna put my other one on I wear different lipsticks actually let me grab it and show you guys what I wear on the daily ow my foot stuck I'm back. <clears throat> Had to get my purse. I have an abundance of lipsticks in my bag. Okay, I normally wear my MAC Cyber lipstick. Um, it's probably what I'm going to go with today. Um, um, This is it. It's really dark, really vampy. Um, I'm gonna have this really, 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 really red lipstick from the Sephora. It's called Scarlet Rouge. Um, I should probably just show you guys all of them. Oh, this is everybody's favorite. This is, uh, oh no, excuse me. 
They're both from the Sephora Rouge line. This one, the really red one is called Hot Tango. Read the label wrong. And this one is called Crush. Everybody likes Crush. Um, not sure if I'm going to wear Crush today because, you know, that one's kind of really stained. I'm not digging this one either. I can't. Today is not a good day for my makeup skills. Um, oh, here we go. Alright, I guess it's cyber. You know, all my friends and family love cyber. They really, really love the, um, the other purple one, uh, Crush on me. But this is cyber. Yeah, I'm digging this one better. Now that I have this one, I have to change my earrings because it can be overkill. Sometimes I do ombre lips. Um, where... Actually, screw it. I'm putting the earrings back on. This is uh, this is what I go through every day. I just heard my mom walk out the door. Wonder where she went. My mom just told me a story that she finds it funny that I still live at home. I'm 22 and I still live at home. I'm moving out soon, but. I have to save up money with this new job before I go. I feel like the shirt just threw everything off because that's why I changed my lipstick so much. But this is the look. It's cute. I dig it. Can't wait for my hair to get longer though. I'm kind of over this length. It, it grew a lot because I take biotin every day, drink lots of water, I make sure my hair is moisturized morning, noon, and night. I don't play. My hair has grew, grown two inches within, I cut my hair in October, I think. Yeah, October. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. I'll let you guys know. I'll put it in the little section below. Um, well, this was fun. And it was very nice to meet you guys. And thanks for putting up with my rambling. Alright, bye.